bittersweet milestone for a young boy who lost his father, a Baltimore City police officer, nearly four years ago. As Amy Yancey explains, fellow officers are stepping up for their fallen cam comrade. The officers cheered on Tristan Taylor as he advanced to middle school and earned several awards. Tristan Taylor. Audience, you may applaud. As Tristan Taylor looks out to the crowd at his fifth grade promotion ceremony, he sees many smiling faces, but the face of his father is missing. Officer Forrest Taylor, who everyone called Dino, died after a devastating line of duty car crash nearly four years ago, ending his 17 year career on the Baltimore City Police Force. And I know Dino was always standing behind me to make sure everything went well. On this special day, 20 officers stand behind Dino's family. I felt happy that they were here to see me, but also kind of scared because that, that was just 20 more people that I have to stand up there and talk to. <laughs> we want him to understand that we fully appreciate the sacrifice that his father made for the city of Baltimore. I'm so glad to see you. Dino's widow, Amber, is overcome by gratitude. And I'm so thankful for you all and for your support. And I don't know what I would do without you all in our lives. At Dino's funeral, hundreds of officers formed a shield for his widow and two children, Tristan and Millie. Some of those same officers on hand to see the 10-year-old win academic awards despite losing his father. And Tristan T. <laughs> Motivation for a boy with Ivy League aspirations and comfort for a mother who needs it. I don't have my husband's family here. His mom and dad died and his brothers live far away. So the police department is, is my family. And the officers have already committed and promised to attend Millie Taylor's promotion ceremony as well. In Glen Burnie, Amy NC, WJZ, Eyewitness News. Well, if he doesn't want to go to Harvard, Tristan says he wants to be a comedian.